Welcome back. Well, I should say welcome to the post-game of Undertale. I mean, it's just a little thing, right? Sure. I'm sure there's not going to be major ramifications for what you're about to do. Of course. I mean, it's just a little post-game scene, right? Right. <laughs> It'll improve the ending slightly. Slightly. I mean, that's what Flowey was trying to say, right? It's a better ending. <laughs> Sorry if I sound out of breath. I was just dragging empty <laughs> trash cans through. This snow. is going to sound wimpy, but an inch of snow, but... Don't worry, folks. He's from California. Yeah. He's not used to anything below 70 degrees. 60. 60 is our winter temperature. <laughs> I'm not kidding, either. Maybe high 50s on a cold year. Or if you're in San Francisco. Back through the core, we're walking back through the core. Yeah. Huh? I'll ring a ding ding. Hey, uh, this is Sunday. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I meant Snowden, in front of Papyruses. See ya, punk. Punk. I like Undying. In fact, I don't think there's a single character I actively dislike in this game. Besides Flowey. Okay, I don't wish that there were characters that weren't in the game. Because... You like Flowey because he's a good person to hate. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be very open with um, no mercy spoilers at this point of the game because we are post game. Um, just what you learn about Flowey there that he literally could not feel anything because he's had pet 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 neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> but he literally could not feel compassion or love because he lacked a soul. And Flowey is aware of the ability to save and load because he could do it himself. Because he's soulless, just like you! <laughs> That's clearly why. I mean, Frisk hasn't shown any sort of. Or, I mean, that. Eh, we saw. Frisk is just the hard mode name. It's the right. name we like to use. Yeah, it's simpler this way. Just first. <laughs> uh, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? That expression! <laughs> um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got the Undyne's letter. The oh, Undyne's letter. And if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Unique. Letter written for Dr. Elphis. You can actually throw it away. Hey, don't throw that away. Just deliver it. We when have to be it. on a screen that she isn't. Yeah. Despite what seems like common sense, you threw away the letter. Great work. You mean person. What? You've lost the letter? What the heck? How? Why? Ugh, this is unbelievable. I should be really disappointed in you. But to tell you the truth, I'm kind of relieved. While you were gone, I actually wrote a way better letter. And this time, you won't lose it. I guarantee it. You got the Undyne letter EX. <laughs> Has its don't drop it written on it. And now you can't lose it. The letter is too powerful to throw away. It gets the better of you. Either way, you can't actually read it if you go to a different screen. 
You tried to open the letter, but it's been shut so tightly you need a chainsaw in order to open it. Well, let's go deliver a letter. Undertale, number one mailman simulator 2015. <laughs> the waters are wild today. That's bad luck. Come again sometime. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? No! That's like a chug of Conroy, no. No! You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. The, oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Uh, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. <laughs> Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god? Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Uh -oh, oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. <laughs> and I had no idea you uh, wrote that way. It's just surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. Well, why would you be surprised by the way we write when we literally have said nothing besides yes and no? Well, I mean... I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, uh... This? So passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. <laughs> oh, good. Just Dating start. Come to. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Uh, anyway, let's do this thing. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you a hamster... Oh my god. I mean, her entire experience is dating sims, so... <laughs> uh, maybe you can't use that. Waterproof cream cream scales. Your uh, scales. Uh, well, how about? Gee, I wonder who she was thinking of. Gee. Let's forget about things. I wonder what's for dinner. Let's just <laughs> two exclamation points. Oh. How's the weather? Uh, do you like anime? Yeah. Hey, me too. No, I haven't seen anyone say no to that. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. And it fast travels you. Yay. Oh my god, the, ba the annoying dog is in the background. <laughs> the annoying dog is in the mailbox. And the TV that uh, Flowey was using. Flowey, Flowey, whatever. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. Find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because... Well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. Why am I not surprised she's in a jacket? I realize if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Gah! Have you at least seen her? <laughs> she's shaking! <laughs> yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my 
guy. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I get the feeling you don't like people in general. I'm sorry, I just figured, you know, you want to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to, to make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. No, it's the person I really want to. I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, uh, cool, but... <laughs> She is so awkward. I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm a royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, I'll, she'll, she'll learn the truth about me. You should just stop before the lies start piling up even higher. The truth? If I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? For truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd much rather be what makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They all get hurt because of me. How can I tell I'm dying the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously. Rope play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Yes, this is clearly the thing that we should do. Me? I'm dying? Uh, okay. I'll see what I think she'd say in you. Uh, you show me what I'm supposed to do. Oh. I thought she was going to realize, wait, that's not going to help me at all. Or something. Nope. <laughs> Let's go the fun way. <laughs> you know, funnily, that actually does seem like something she'd say. Alphys gives ooh again. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> and of course it starts playing Spear of Justice. <laughs> Jog. 
Get boy. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. I mean, it is the perfect person to teach you to have better self-esteem. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne, I'll do my best. Oh my god! <laughs> Hardest moral choice of the game. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, that seems simple enough. It's totally time to go fight Asgore again, right? There's nothing else to do now. Sure. You got closer to Elf. Huh? Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? Hmm. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very hard. Uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there to our lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. That was a strange greeting for Papyrus. <laughs> eh. Eh. Papyrus is a weirdo. Yeah. A fun weirdo. But a weirdo. Oh, this animation again. Also, Hotland is to the right. Well, dog goes where dog wants. I guess. Clearly, the barrier actually just teleports you to the other side of it if you touch it, so that's what happened. Yeah, I mean... And they just dig around the barrier. Because it's a bubble, I'm pretty sure. So, next time I guess we're gonna hang out with her at her lab? Well, I mean... Maybe, I mean, we could always, uh... Maybe she won't just rush off to the bathroom this time. Yeah. Why does why did monsters even have bathrooms?